Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntvforex.com. US dollar coming under increasing pressure as major markets break out in unison video. Http ntvforex.com news ID 3 a 77 a 1. 7 22 20 20 11 51 52 AM. Market overview. There has been a decisive shift in outlook across major markets in the last couple of days. The drivers have been a new phase of positive risk appetite, but also a significant breakdown on the dollar. Strongly encouraging news flow on COVID-19 vaccination trials have allowed traders to pull forward expectations of when an effective vaccination could be usable. Furthermore, ever more fiscal support, coupled with a strengthening of EU foundations have arisen from the agreement on the EU Recovery Fund discussions. The net result has been a route for the US dollar, with the US dollar index falling below support at 95.70. The vaccine progress is a positive for the global recovery, but the U.S. economy is still struggling to contain infection rates and deaths from COVID-19. A negative impact on the U.S. economic recovery in the coming months is being factored in. Elsewhere though, this dollar weakness is playing into breakouts on gold, silver, oil, equity markets, and several major forex pairs EURUSD, AUDUSD, NZDUSD especially. There may be some near-term kickback on these moves, but it looks to have been a decisive shift in outlook for the dollar and period of underperformance seems to be well set now. Wall Street closed only marginally higher in the end, with the SAMP P500 0.2% at 3,257, whilst US futures are flat today, with the E-mini SAMP PS just one tick higher. Asian markets were mixed overnight with the Nikkei 0.6% and Shanghai Composite 0.3%. European markets look set for marginal early slips with FTSE futures 0.2% and DAX futures 0.3%. In Forex, there is a sense of consolidation, but the risk positive and USD weakness is still present with AUD and NZD outperforming. Only JPY and GBP are giving back marginally. In commodities, the upside breaks on gold another 1% but especially silver a further 5% continue, with oil just fading slightly at 0.5%. It is once more rather quiet for the economic calendar today. The only significant data releases come later in the session, with the US existing home sales at 1500 BST. Sales are expected to recover significantly in June by 24.5% to 4.78 M from 3.91 M in May. EIA crude oil inventories are at 1530 BST and are expected to once more be in drawdown by 2.0 M barrels after a surprisingly large drawdown of 7.5 M barrels last week. Chart of the day DAX etc. A key bullish breakout from the DAX but could there be a better opportunity to buy the breakout on a strong bull candle on Monday took the DAX decisively clear of the old key June high of 12,915. Remarkably low volume for such a decisive move leaves a few questions for the bulls to answer, and perhaps this played into yesterday's rather tentative session too. The questions will have been added to by yesterday's close, where despite adding 1% on the day, the move formed a shooting star reversal candlestick. The DAX will often leave gaps unfilled, but given the shooting star, the concern will be there that this may be the precursor to a near-term retracement. Futures are ticking lower today to add to this premise. However, given the decisive breakout, the bulls will be looking at any unwind as a pullback and a buying opportunity. The old resistance of the June high at 12,915 is now underlying demand and becomes supportive. The uptrend support of the past two months rises at 12,790 today, whilst recent lows also leave a support area between 12,775-12,915 as a near-term buy zone. Strong medium-term momentum confirms the breakout which is arguably an ascending triangle breakout and implies at least a move to the all-time high of 13,795 again. Initial resistance at yesterday's high of 13,313 which now protects the all-time high of 13,795. Support at 12,415 is now key. Brent crude oil. After weeks of struggling under resistance, 
there has been a drive higher on oil. Yesterday's strong positive candle added over 2% and has now broken through resistance at $43.95. Brent crude moved to its highest level since March and is looking to now close the gap at $45.20. Momentum indicators have gone with the breakout, with the daily RSI is at multi-week highs in strong configuration, whilst stochastics remain bullish. The final confirmation would be if the MACD lines begin to also swing higher. The closing break above $43.95 completes a mini-range breakout and implies an immediate upside target of $46.60 on a conservative basis and perhaps as much as $48.40. If the bulls were to break through $45.20 then there is little real resistance until $50.54 area. The breakout now means that weakness is a chance to buy. There is a good band of near-term support now between $42.35 $43.95 as a buy zone for supported weakness. The breakout also means that $41.30 grows in importance as a higher low. Dow Jones Industrial Average Despite markets breaking out across asset classes yesterday, the Dow still seemed to be rather tentative in its move higher. The gap at 25,940 still remains unclosed, but the important feature of the move is that near-term weakness continues to be bought into. A close above 26,940 would put the bulls into more of a strong position once more, whilst a move above last week's initial rebound high of 27,070 would really open the June high of 27,580. Remember that the Nasdaq is at all-time highs and the SAMP P500 has already broken out above its equivalent June high, so Dow bulls will be eyeing this move. We have spoken previously of the 25,325,610 breakout band now being an area of underlying demand, and this has been strengthened by the pickup from 25,504 this week. Momentum is tentatively positive now. Stochastics remain strong above 80, however, with RSI just hovering around 60 and MACD lines edging higher above neutral the bulls are dragging their feet still. A move above 27,070 would likely release the shackles. Read more analysis here Euro USD, GBP USD, USD JPY, Gold. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.